Okay, so here's step two. After you've finished the enrollment process and Apple tells you that you're able to log in and you have access to all of their great stuff, uh, you'll come to developer.apple.com and you can actually type slash iPhone and it'll redirect you to this page. And uh, after you log in on this page, you'll, you'll see some of these options here. Uh, the login page uh, looks actually more like this. Log out. Looks more like this. Um, so you'll definitely have to log in first. But once you log in, you'll see this page on the right. It says iOS Provisioning Portal. Remember, we're bu building for the iPhone, so we need the iOS Provisioning Portal. Provisioning allows us to put applications either on our own devices, on our friends' devices, without having to go to the App Store. This, that's called testing or an ad hoc ad hoc distribution or allows us to go to the App Store to be distributed to the world um, and we'll go ahead and click that so here is the iOS provisioning portal um, and there are a couple things here we'll go through each one of them through the process but just the high level certificates are to verify that you are um, a verified person you are, you're a verified person that is able to use uh, App Apple's uh, provisioning and, and, and process. Uh, devices are the devices that you can put applications on that you're allowed to, you're allowing your application to be on without going through the App Store in that ad hoc test version I told you about a second ago. The app IDs uh, allows you to name specific apps identifiers so you can identify an app specifically uh, as you create it. Um, and that will help you do notifications and, and all that great stuff later on. And then provisioning allows us to put the glue that kind of puts it all together that says, hey, I have a certificate. This is the app idea I want to do uh, to use. And this is the device I want to put it on. And I need to use that provisioning to put that all together. Uh, so that's like kind of a high level of it all. But this is the first page of that iOS provisioning portal that you'll have to come to in order to complete the, the process. Um, of, of creating a certificate and loading that into AppMaker so you can build your application. So now we're back in AppMaker and uh, we press developer accounts and last time we talked about step one getting the enrollment and like we said we at this point you should be enrolled um, and, and have the ability to log in to the I iOS provisioning portal and so you're able to go to step two. Now there's two situations. One, either your friend or you in the past have created a P12 yourself and now you want to upload it to AppMaker to use that uh, key. Um, so uh, this, can be, this can be problematic. If you, if you get a P12 file that's not correct, you could run through a lot of the process and at the very last minute think that you're using a P12 file uh, that's correct and, and then start getting errors that you don't, that your provision doesn't match your certificate and that's probably because this this step might have gone wrong so if you do get a p12 file from your friend that you want to build something with or you have one from your past be very certain that it's working that it hasn't expired that it's the correct uh, key for the right account and all that kind of stuff or else you'll find some problems in the future otherwise if you're starting from scratch with most of you are you're going to want to do option two so here in step two the first step is Click the button below to generate and download your CSR to upload to Apple. We click that, it go ahead, goes ahead and generates the CSR for you and you're able to download that certificate signing request, CSR. And this is something that we're going to use um, inside of Apple. So you can see that step two says click here to request a certificate within Apple Development Portal. So that automatically takes you to this page, but just to be clear, that page is in certificates distribution. It's very important we do certificate distribution. I'm going to revoke an earlier one. So if you ever had to do this process over again and start over, you simply press revoke to get back to scratch. Um, revoking a certificate doesn't ruin apps that are currently out. It doesn't ruin apps that you currently have. Um, but you cannot upload again using the same certificate if it's been revoked. So remember how I told you earlier about the P12 not working or some problems coming up. Uh, with your account. It could be someone or yourself revoked and recreated a certificate and you're using the wrong one. So I'm just going to start over uh, so that all my future builds are um, uh, perfectly aligned with one another and everything's in the right place. But I'm going to click back here and look at step two. Click here to request a certificate within Apple provisioning portal. So that opened that the, the, the same place and here it, as we tell, as we explained to you, you're, you're going to want to scroll to the bottom 
to the request a certificate page and choose file. So you're basically going to skip this whole thing here. Uh, that button that we just talked about, that create new certificate signing request, that download, is what would happen if we followed all these steps. But we went ahead and did that for you in our back end so that you can simply press choose file here as directed and then go in and create and upload the CSR we generated. So the .CSR that we downloaded from right here is the one that we're uploading in the choose and the one that we're submitting. So now we've gotten that request through. It's going to be pending and I'm going to need to refresh every so often in order for it to be issued. There you go. Actually that went pretty fast. Sometimes it can take longer. So uh, it's been issued. I can download it and as you can see here after you've uploaded it to Apple, um, the file you'll be uploading is one you created and download above. Step three, after you upload the file and click Submit, Apple will redirect you to the current certificate page, and your new certificate will be listed as pending. After a few minutes, refresh, which is what we did, to download the certificate. Once available, click Download. So we're going to go over here and click Download. And we get another certificate, which is the Distribution Identity certificate. Since I've done this a few times, it says 7 next to it because it's the seventh time I've done it, but you'll probably not have that 7 there. Once we finish this process, the next, the last step is to choose that file and upload the .cer and then press upload. The reason why this takes a, a little bit of work is because we're making sure that we have a secure uh, situation, that I, ha I am who I say I am, Apple thinks I'm who I say I am, and, and uh, we have all the information needed to, to complete the process. Okay, so once you're done, you've successfully created your Apple certificate, you can apply it to applications you've created, um, but since we don't have any applications right now, there's really nothing we can apply it to. More importantly, in the developer accounts, we're ready to start publishing with this certificate, um, and it shows you when it's going to expire, and you'll have to uh, redo this in about a year. but this should be pretty solid from now on. And now you have a certificate so that you can build apps and test them on your device or upload to the App Store with Apple.